Hi everyone, I Shurujit welcome you all on Econometrics Day channel. आज हम लोग सीखने वाले हैं क्लास सेवन का मैथमेटिक्स तो चलिए बिना वक्त गवाए शुरू करते हैं आज का क्लास Now class सेवन students, today we are again going to continue with chapter थ्री decimals and we are going to continue with exercise थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एंड टूडे इस पार्ट इज पार्ट नाइन ओके दो हैव नॉट वॉच द प्रीवियस पार्ट आई विल रिक्वेस्ट दैम टू वॉच इट ओके आई हैव शेयर द लिंक एट द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो एंड देन यू वॉच दिस पार्ट देन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड मोर नाइसली द कॉन्सेप्ट विल बी मोर क्लियर टू यू ओके सो लेट अस सी व्हाट दे हैव आस्क्ड इन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन रोहन पार्टिसिपेटेड इन अ रेस दैट मींस रोहन टुक पार्ट इन अ रेस ही नीडेड टू कवर द डिस्टेंस ऑफ 560 मीटर इन द रेस दैट मींस इन द रेस इन अ पर्टिकुलर रेस व्हिच रोहन टुक पार्ट इन दैट रेस ही हैज टू कवर टोटल डिस्टेंस ऑफ हाउ मच 560 मीटर ओके सो लेट मी राइट द सेंटेंस टोटल distance needed to cover in the race by whom by rohan okay you can write like this way or if you cannot frame the sentence only write total distance that is also correct okay now equal to 560 meter now after that in each step he covered 0.5 meter that means every step when he is running every step he is covering 0.5 meter we will keep that part later means we will keep aside that part okay later on we will discuss with that part after that after covering 347 meter he fell so he ran 347 meter and after that he fell okay how many steps so you have to find out what how many steps were left to complete the race so how many steps were left we can find out when we know how much meter or what is the distance left clear no left so how we will do it now first we will write distance already covered in the race by rohan how much distance he has already covered so he has covered 347 meter now i can draw one line then what is left uh, what how much meter or how many meters are left that will be the distance left so let us subtract so meter will come here you cannot subtract cut this 6 and make it 5 and it becomes 10 so 3 then 5 minus 4 1 then 2 so 213 meters are left so what i will write therefore distance left to be covered in the race by rohan so this much distance left and now we will come this part which i told we will keep aside for some time in each step he covered 0.5 meter so distance covered by rohan in each step that means in one step okay so how much it is 0.5 meter let me highlight the point oh nicely okay so how many steps there are four number of steps we have to find out what how many steps so that's why i wrote what number of steps were well, left to complete the uh, race so therefore number of steps left to complete the race will be what this left over distance divided by the distance covered in each step so what we'll write we'll draw one line and then what distance 
left to be covered in the race by Rohan, divided by distance covered, okay, by Rohan in each step. So very easy. Now you will put it 213 meter by 0 0.5 meter. Meter, meter cancels. After that, what I will write? 213. Now 0 0.5 meter, if I don't want to write this point, then 5. After decimal point, how many digits? One digit. So what will come? By 10. Only one zero. Then after that, 213 into now this one will become upside down, 10 will go up, 5 will come down, this will go up and this will come down, okay. It will turn, understanding or not, upside down. Now very easy, 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10, so 2 1 3 into 2. So if you multiply 2 3s are 6, 2 1s are 2, 2 2s two are 4 and this is the answer. So, how many steps? How many steps are left? 426. You can write here steps also. 426 steps. And this is the answer. Clear? So, I hope question number 7 is now clear to all my students. Okay. Now, we will move on to the next sum. Now, we are going to solve question number 8. And this is the last question of this exercise. But before that, those who are new in my channel, I would like to request all my students that if you like this video, if you like my channel, then please give a like, share this video more and more with your friends and classmates and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Because when you subscribe, it really motivates me to make more such interesting videos for you all. And also, don't forget to press the all notification bell. Ting ting so that whenever I upload such videos, you will get the notifications first. Now, let us come back to the sum. Question number 8. What they are telling? The manufacturing cost of a pair of shoes is 346.72. That means cost of one pair of shoe is 346.72. How much will it cost for 15 such pair of shoes? That means you have to find out the total cost of 15 pair of shoes. Okay. So, one cost of one pair is given. So, to find out 15 pairs, the cost of 15 pairs, then automatically it will be more and more. What I told you means multiply. So, let us solve it. Very easy one. Answer. Two line sum. Okay. So, what I will write? Manufacturing. Manufacturing cost of one pair of shoes let me write the s nicely okay is equal to rupees 346.72 okay therefore manufacturing again same thing manufacturing cost of 15 they are asking 15 so 15 pair of shoes what it will be it will be more, more means multiply. So, we will write this one and multiply it with 50. And here only we will get the answer. So, let us do the rough 346.72. We will multiply with what? 15. So, let us multiply. 5 twos are 10. 1 carry. 5 sevens are 35 plus 1, 36. 3 carry. 5 sixes are 30 plus 3, 33. 3 carry again. 5 4s are 20 plus 3 23 2 carry 5 3s are 15 plus 2 70 clear now after that we will give a cross now we'll multiply with 1 if you multiply with 1 it will be same only 2 7 6 4 3 and then we will add it so 0 6 plus 2 8 7 3 plus 7 or 7 plus 3 10 1 carry 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 6, 10, 
again one carry 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 4 12 and here 1 so 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 3 5 now the decimal okay here the decimal point after that how many digits are there two digits so the point will be from this side and it will come here and we got the answer 5 to double zero point eight zero and this is the manufacturing cost this is the manufacturing cost of how many pairs of shoes 15 pair of shoes okay so i hope question number eight you have understood and at the same time all the sums that is from question number one to eight exercise 3.5 you have understood nicely okay now it's your duty to practice these sums again and again so that when it comes in the exam you can do the sum correctly and very very quickly okay agar video acha lage to video ko like share or subscribe karna mat bhuliyega milte hain aur ek acche naye content ke sath tab tak ke liye bye bye